Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna learn exactly what you need to do when you put a home under contract at too high of a price. But what you should learn from each time. This is gonna happen every now and again to each one of us. So what can we learn when we put a home under contract at too high of a price? That's what we're gonna go over in this video. So while you're here, I also want you to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so it alerts you when we upload fresh new content, but let's get to business. Ain't never gonna stop this fire. I can't believe his business is so incredible and if I can do this, every single one of you can do this. Every single one of you. Hey guys, Cody Hoffine with Wholesaling Inc., the number one wholesaling coaching program. Super excited to be with you guys today because we're gonna break down what happens inevitably to probably every single one of us and that's what do we do and what can we learn when we put a home under contract at too high of a price. This can happen, especially when you're at the very beginning stages of wholesaling. Sometimes you go out there and you think you know the price, you put under contract, and then you find out that, oh man, no one wants to buy this home. Nine times out of 10, it's because you've put the home under contract at too high of a price. So what can we learn from this? How do we learn from this? What are the processes? What are the steps you should do so that this doesn't happen in the future? So here's something I want you to think of. If you were to go out there, you put a home under contract, and it's at too high of a price, it's probably because your cash buyers have no interest, you're not getting any feedback, you're not getting your cash buyers saying, hey, I want it. In fact, maybe some of them called you back and said, oh, I can't buy this, there's just not a deal here. Here's what I want you to do. Instead of getting frustrated and taking this incredible teaching moment, and learning something from it. A quote I just heard recently that was just brilliant. It says, there's no such thing as losing. You either win or you learn. So I want you to think about this. There's no such thing as a loss. It's not a loss that you put this home under contract at the too high of a price. You're either gonna win or you're gonna learn. And this is an incredible, incredible learning opportunity for you. When you put a home under contract at too high of a price, you should be learning some of your greatest lessons during that moment. So the first thing is, let's say you hear from your cash buyers, or maybe you don't hear from any cash buyers that the price is too high. What I want you to do is, this is a great opportunity to have your cash buyers start teaching you <clears throat> what is the good price. At what price point is this a deal? So instead of just giving up and then canceling the contract, what I want you to do is call one by one. This is where work's gonna take place. This is where it's gonna get tough because you're gonna have to take action and you're gonna have to call and maybe there's 250 cash buyers on your list. But what I need you to do is I want you to call each and every one of those cash buyers, every single one of them. And I want you to ask them a couple questions. First, you wanna ask them, hey, did you see the property located at 123 Main Street where I have the contract to buy that property? Do we able to take a look at this? And they may say yes, they may say no. If they say no, awesome, I wanna send this over so you can look at it, have them look at it. Or if they say yeah, awesome, is it something you're interested in? Now start having the dialogue. They're gonna be like no, I'm just not, I don't have an interest in that home. Don't stop there. Most people are like oh, okay, thank you and then they hang up and they call the next cash buyer. No. Take a moment to learn some incredible value from these cash buyers. Okay, so you're not interested in this home. This would be the further question. So you're not interested in this home. At what price point would this make sense to purchase? So I want you to think about that. It's, okay, so you're not interested in the home at this price point. At what price point would this make sense? And start to get numbers from your cash buyers. So maybe you have the home put under contract at 150,000 and you marketed it to them at 160,000 so that you were gonna make $10,000. And maybe you're gonna find out that someone's like, yeah, I just can't pay 160, but I could pay 155. Awesome, you're still gonna make five grand, right? Or maybe you're gonna find out maybe what you think is bad and they say, I can't pay nowhere near the 160, I have to be around like 140. Okay, so in your mind you're thinking, oh, this is bad, like that's 10 grand less than what I put under contract for. It's not bad unless you only think that direction. This should be something that you're calling every cash buyer and getting these questions asked, the same questions asked to each and every one of them, so you can find out what is the highest price that one of your cash buyers would be willing to pay 
if they got their price. So you're asking them, at what price point does this make sense? They tell you your price. Awesome, so if I was able to get you this home at this price, is this something that you would move forward and you get them to commit? Yeah, if you could get it at that, I'd buy it all day long. Awesome, I'll let you know about that. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna learn from every one of your cash buyers at what price point you really need to be at. So you've got it under contract at 150 and you have a cash buyer that's willing to pay 145. Now you know when you go back to the seller at what price point you need to renegotiate the deal. Now you know that you can't perform at the 150. I'm sorry, cash bar seller, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller. I can't buy this home at this price point. It's not gonna work. Is this the best you're able to do? And they may say no, and it may, or they may say yes, that's the best I can do, and you might lose the contract. They also might tell you, which has happened many times, no, I, I mean, I still wanna sell this, and so I still wanna move forward. Um, I can go down to 130. Making this up, these are all like hypothetical, uh, possibilities here. So you have someone that says, hey, I can go down to 130 or 140 or 135. They tell you a number and then you look at it and say, oh my goodness, I have a cash buyer that's at 145 and at worst case scenario, I had like three or four that are willing to pay 140. So then you re-put this home under contract because you've learned from your cash buyers at what price point it is a deal and you're able to still find out if there's money to be made and if you can get it lower than what someone's willing to pay. So learn from your cash buyers. Don't just simply cancel the contract. Go to them and ask them, what are they willing to pay? At what price point does it make sense? And commit them. So if I was able to get it at that price point, would you move forward? Those are the things you really wanna look at. Um, here's another thing I always do right out of the gates is at the beginning, you don't really know every area. You don't know, um, okay, if it's in this city, it should go for this price. If it's in this city or this zip code or this county, the home should be this price. What's really nice is every time that you're putting a home under contract, whether it doesn't go through or it does go through, you really should remember all the data from that deal. You should look at it and say, okay, this is a Rambler or this is a two-story or a split entry or whatever the different styles, a ranch style house and it's a three bedroom, two bathroom. So what I would do is I would get a map and I would put it in your office. The biggest map of your county, I would put it in your office on the wall and I'd hang it up and I would learn every time you put a home under contract and you're able to move it, at what price point did you get it for and what price point did you sell it to a cash buyer? Or, hey, I put this under contract and it didn't move because I thought it was gonna move at 150 but I actually need to be at 140. What you're doing is you start to build this avatar for every zip code, every city, so that what you can do on that huge map of your county, you can draw out zones, you can put circles around areas, and you start to build out like an avatar. If I find a home in this area and it's a two-story, then I'm gonna have to buy it at this point. I'm gonna put it under contract at this price point. If it's a Rambler or a ranch-style home, I'm gonna have to put it under, uh, uh, under contract at this price point and every zip code should have a circle around it or every area should have a circle around it because you're gaining knowledge every time you either close on a deal or every time that you assign a deal, but you're also gaining knowledge every time you can't move a deal and you have to cancel the contract. So going forward, what happens is next time you're in that area, you don't have to think, oh man, what was the price point? Man, what was the price point that I put it under contract and it didn't work last time? Like, ah, oh, what was it again? You just go to that map and you just look and say, okay, I've got, a, I've got a motivated seller. It's in this area. You go on the map and say, okay, last time I was here, I found out that I need to put homes under contract at this price point. Now you can just simply get out there and do your best at just getting it as low as possible because you already know the back end knowledge of your cash buyers on what they're willing to pay in that area. If you will do this guys, you will indeed find out that none of these contracts that you put under, none of these homes that you put under contract at a high price are ever a loss. They're always a great learning moment. So remember, there's no such thing as losing or losses. You're either gonna win or you're gonna learn. Take this moment to learn and it will be some of the greatest, greatest lessons you will ever receive in wholesaling. Let your cash buyers inform you. <clears throat> I apologize. 
Let your cash buyers inform you what they're able to pay. Let your cash buyers tell you what the price point is, and then you just gotta go simply get it lower than that so you can make some money. Hope this makes sense, guys. While you're here, I want you to do something down below in the comment section. I also want you to, uh, uh, if it's your first time, I want you to go down there and say, this is our first time or first time. If it's your second time or multiple time, I want you to put down there, I'm back. But if you have any further questions on how I can help you specifically regarding when you put a home under contract at too high of a price, what is it you need to do? If you have any questions that I didn't really go over in this video, please go down below and ask those questions. I love reading each and every question and going through there personally and helping answer those questions. So you can get out there and just simply take massive imperfect action and get your first deal or your next deal. Take care guys, God bless you guys in your journey and I'll see you on the next video.